Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I am working on a mixed media tag project for artandsassy.ning.com and this month's theme for us is to make a mixed media tag of some sort and um, for it to include metallics on it. So I have just kind of tried to play out, I'm really not a metallic sort of person, so I'm kind of just going to see what happens. I'm not positive yet, but I want to show you what I have done so far and then what I will do rather than actually doing a tutorial video, um, I will periodically go through and do different things and share that with you as I um, have finished up different layers. So the first thing that I did is I used my Close to My Heart um, Art Philosophy cartridge and I cut out these three tags and I just used chipboard um, and I think it's pretty much already been thrown away but I keep the backs of like uh, pads of paper and notebooks and stuff um, so that I can have chipboard rather than purchasing chipboard and so I took these chipboard tags and I cut them there six and a quarter inches and I cut three of them, two for the swap and two for me. And then what I did next is I put two coats of gesso on the front and two coats of gesso on the back. And I know you're probably looking at that going the back. The back's decorated and the front's not. Well, honestly, all I'm going to do to the back is probably um, decorate them very minimally. Um, they just need to be painted or something um, papered or something on the back. Um, the main decorations will go on the front. So what I did for the back is I put um, a layer after uh, after the two layers of gesso had dried because my chipboard was kind of a gray ish color. So after the two layers of gesso had dried, I took, um, this is Tim Holtz tissue tape paper or tissue, tissue paper. It comes in a box like this. This one um, is tissue wrap, I guess is what it's called. Um, and the, this is called melange. And, um, I took and I used Mod Podge to adhere these down. So that's what you see here. They're adhered on the back. And the next step for me is going to be to play with some alcohol inks and see what happens. So I will be back in a little bit to show you what I've come up with. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so I'm back and I have to say I've had a lot of fun. Um, and then let me show you what I use and then I'll tell you what I did. So I use three different colors of alcohol inks from Adirondack. Um, I use Purple Twilight, Denim, and Bottle. Um, and these two of them are in the Earth Tone family, the other one's in the Brights family. And then I also used the Silver Mixatives in there. And man, I have got a horrible glare in here today. I apologize. Um, but I used the Silver Mixative. Now, I know. If I remember correctly, it's been a long time since I've done much reading on alcohol inks, but if I remember correctly, they were kind of designed to work on um, like different slick type surfaces, so whether it's metal or glossy paper and those kind of things. But I wanted to play a little bit and see what it would do on my, um, my more matte um, tags and it definitely has a very different look. Could you achieve the same thing with distressed inks? possibly, but I just wanted to play with the alcohol inks to see what would happen. So I'm going to turn over the back sides first and show you. To me it kind of reminds me of just a big hot mess. Um, so we're going to see how these tags all come together, but this is the back sides and this is probably all I'm going to do to the back side. So here's the first one using those three different colors of inks. Here's the second one, and you definitely see that silver mixative, and I may go back and blend a little bit more in there um, because I figured out a way to do some of that. And then this one has all three colors in it too. I noticed that the denim almost um, took on more of a purpley color when I was working with it. Um, and then the front sides, I did different things. This one is more silver because what I did on this one, instead of drizzling the silver on it, in most places what I did on the front, um, I drizzled little dots of the silver on and then tried to blend it in. And this one, um, I actually put it on my little um, applicator and just went over the top. And so then I had to go over with several more um, 
different spots of color because it was just too much silver coming through for me because of the embellishments that I know I'm going to use. I don't know what all I'm using, but some of them that I've chosen, it's, it was quite a bit too silver for. So I had to back that off a little bit. This one is a lot less silver. Um, you've got your splotches of silver through here and then your different blendings and it's kind of messy blending. Um, it's definitely not super blended in. Um, and again, remember this is going to be my um, base for whatever I'm going to embellish on top of it. And then this is the third one. Um, just a big, to me, it's a big mess. But I think it's kind of fun. Now I want to show you something else that I did. Um, Previously, I made a video that showed um, embossing with my Cricut. These are the little butterflies that I embossed, and then I hand cut those out. And I'll put a link down in the doobly-doo below um, to show you, to link you to that video where I emboss with it. And this is the um, foil paper from Tim Holtz. It's... Um, well, it's from Ink Essentials, technically, and Ranger. But it comes in a sheet like this. I think there are six of them in there. And that's really glary because all of the the metallic stuff going on, it's quite a glare. And you can see it. This is when your um, craft mat really comes in handy because it's my craft mat's a mess. But what I did with this one is I just took each of the colors and kind of gently swabbed on um, the colors onto the edges of the wings of my butterfly. This one... I left completely plain, but then the one for the more metallic, I couldn't just put a silver butterfly on there because it wouldn't show up. So this one I actually inked with the purple. I completely inked the whole butterfly with the purple. So those are embellishments that will be used on it. Now the next step, step that I'm going to do before I start figuring out all the different layers of things that I'm going to put on is I'm going to take this um, brushed pewter distress stain and see what happens when I just kind of edge it on on around the edges or maybe I'll just put it in some different spots of color I really don't have a lot of metallic stuff um, so but I did notice I had this distress stain so we'll kind of see what happens when I just put on little spots of color with this so I will be back with more videos okay everybody I am back and I've added a few more things and I have to say my desk is such a mess I don't even know how I'm working on it but let me show you what I did so I grabbed I have these Heidi Swap stencils here and this one is actually a um, uh, chevron obviously and I grabbed some mold molding paste from um, Artist Loft which this is just the brand that you can pick up at Michaels and I went down here and I put some down across the bottom you can just barely see it and then I put some more coming down this side I did that on all three tags and of course then I've got these bright pops of white so I took my alcohol inks again and went over the top so that I could cover up the bright pop so all that does is just provides texture and then I took my homemade perfect pearl spray and I glitzed them all up and sprayed them and um, I kind of sped up the drying process a little bit uh, actually quite a lot by using my heat tool and now they just need a little bit more time to dry now I will tell you that the molding paste dried overnight I, I did this yesterday and I have to also tell you that this is taking far longer than I would have ever expected it to I'm hoping it's gonna turn out because I have to say I'm kind of out of my league here because this is totally not me this is kind of taking uh, the project's kind of taking a mind of its own I think so we will continue working on it and see what comes up next thanks okay we are back and I am finally finished uh, I feel very accomplished this is a project that took much longer than I would have expected it to take. Let me show you a few more items that I used to finish it off. I picked up these sequins at my local Duans, and they're from Doris. Uh, Doris, I think it's Doris, um, and they're kind of fun. And, and I'm seeing a lot of sequins out there, um, and these were pretty inexpensive. I think they were like maybe a dollar. I don't know. I can't remember. But so I picked up some sequins. I used several different types of bling, and it was kind of nice because. I had some different ones. In fact, 
each set of bling that I used um, all finished up a package. You know how they come in lots, um, they come in a floral or flourishy package and then um, I usually just snip and cut and take what I need. And so this actually, they are all different because I was using up the back of all of the packages. Um, I also used some of um, these, these are just some that I picked up in the dollar spot at Michael's. I think they were $1.50 or $2, but they were just in those bins at the front. And it has um, both um, yellow colored pearls and white colored pearls and then um, clear stones and then kind of yellow clear stones. And I use some of the clear and some of the pearl. You'll see how those go. I use some of the Tim Holtz word bands. And then I use some of this um, tinsel twine from Tim, Tim Holtz. There's so much sparkle and um, blingy stuff on these tags that I'm afraid this whole video has been nothing but a big glare. Um, and then I also use some gray, of course, Three Girl Jam ribbon. I use iris and I use dress white. So let me show you the first tag. Um, and I even kind of cleaned this up and it still looks kind of messy, but I even cleaned up my mat because it was just absolutely gross with everything I had done. So this is the first one. And you'll see that here. Oh, and I use this word calm um, is uh, American Crafts Thickers. And they're um, foil letter um, foil letters and they kind of give it that metallic -y flare and so the word calm is on this one and here's some of the bling again I know that there's a lot of glare coming right off of my lights um, and then this one says embrace perfection and I glued that down with glossy accents and then I put that's where I put the stones because I didn't really want to run ribbon through this and you know these little word bands have the little loop so that you could screw them on or bread them on or something like that and then here is where you have my, um, you have the tinsel and the dress white and the iris three girl jam. Um, and then this actually was an extra dot in the thicker set. And this is the only one I used on any of them. Um, and then I have two sequins on this one because I felt like this was the third element. I was trying to work in threes. And so I felt like this was close enough to the third element that I was leaving that one. Then this is the next one. Um, and this is the one where the butterfly was, um, I had turned it purple because as I was playing with the tag, this was a mighty, um, one of the tags ended up having a lot of silver, but by the time I ended up adding all the, the extra layers, it ended up not being very silver. So I had to find the most, the one that would provide me the most contrast so that it wouldn't get lost. And then on the side here, I put, this one says, the journey awakens the soul. And then I did go ahead on one end and put just a tiny bit of that Iris Three Girl Jam ribbon. And then this one is um, Want to Scrap Pearls. And if you notice, this one and this one have kind of an aqua little bit to them. And I was kind of hoping that it would pull out some of the green that's kind of underneath. I don't know if it really did or not, but that's kind of the third element there. And then again, three of the sequins the word calm and then my three girl jam and the tinsel twine so that's the second one and then this is the last one and I think this is going to probably be the one that I keep for me it's kind of my favorite one and this one says um, encourage your hopes not your fears and um, this doesn't have this particular butterfly didn't have any coloring on it at all. This one I had colored the tips in the, the different alcohol ink colors. Now this foil is a foil tape is actually what it's called and it adheres really well and I actually rubbed it quite a bit to make sure I had a good adhesion and it didn't really rub out that embossing that I did that we talked about at the beginning of the video. So that was really cool. And then this one has, um, I think this is Mm, this may be the prima bling. One was recollections and one, I think this one's want to scrap. I think this one may be the prima. I can't remember. Again, as I said, they were just using up the ends of packages and then I tossed the packages. Um, again, we've got three sequins on it and then our pretty um, twine and three girl jam ribbon. So there we have all three of the tags, two of them to swap over at artandsassy.ning.com and one for me to keep. And if you remember my first tag, let me pull that. I made these last month and my theme on both of them has been calm. And I'm, because that's kind of what I'm striving for this year is a calmness and a quietness, which some days works great, 
most of the time we're still not there yet. It's a work in progress. But um, I just wanted to bring those on. And I have to say that this whole mixed media um, stuff, I'm really stretching myself. It's not something that comes naturally to me. So I'm kind of encouraged when they actually turn out because I have to tell you, before I put all the decorations on the front of it, I kept thinking, I'm not too sure about this. So there we have it. And thanks so much for stopping by. And remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.